All right, here we are, guys. Hole number six here, expert division. And another hole that we can just basically use a quarterback approach. And that's what I'm going to recommend that you do. Uh, you'll see with the tailwind, this hole is very easy. Um, you know, it, you don't want to try to do too much. What I'll try to do is set my aim up pretty close to where my opponent is right there. I like kind of the look of that, but I won't play rings. So it looks like maybe they're going full top spin, something that I don't do. But I'm also just speculating, but I'm assuming that's probably what happens. And I actually go, so I go substantially more curl than this. So I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly 100% sure what my opponent's doing. Because he may actually be taking off some of the top spin to make sure. Yep. So it seems like there was actually quite a bit of top spin taken off there. It's a little bit different than how I play it. So let me show you what I do. Go back to the Kingmaker. I'll typically try to stay under four top spin here. And, um, you know, I'll typically try to land it up in here somewhere. So you can see with what I'm doing with my alignment. So if I'm trying to aim up there, you know, and another thing that you can do is you can just kind of, you know, point your, you know, point the arrow and get the alignment. You can see with what I'm doing with, uh, you know, where I'm aiming. I shouldn't need any power here whatsoever with an eight wind. Oh, so it just clipped that rough, which is going to just lengthen my shot just a little bit. However, we are good. Um, you know, you can use that trick as your alignment, and I can just, you know, go maybe mm, a ring and a half more next time to the left uh, um, with my starting zone. And what that allows me to do is just curl max every time, so I don't got to worry about doing like half halfway in between am I doing the same repetitive each and every time um, it's much easier to hit a consistent shot so all I have to do is you know do my alignment the same way each and every time and I'll just kind of start over just a little bit more left my next approach you know maybe even two rings worth just to get that uh, alignment just how I want so that's what you'll want to focus on And here you can see we are still good to go here. Um, what I try to do here is maybe about four backspin and also try to use some ball guide offset. So you can see how I'm, you know, kind of coming into towards the right hand side of the hole. Um, I am going to be pulling down to lower ground. Uh, I usually go about minus 15% here. So, you know, I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of six and a half rings for ring adjustment. Ah, so there's a great ball. It's definitely going to push it out to the right, but you can see the, uh, you know, the, the ring adjustment looks pretty good. You'll just have to focus on um, mastering the ball guide offset. And, uh, you know, you should be able to uh, get, get yourself a great, possibility at uh, albatross here so good luck there and i will see you guys on the next